Hey everybody, Mr. Boogie Booger, and today we're going to follow up on my last video talking about the new road plates. Um, these are pretty versatile, they're pretty useful, and if you didn't see the last video yet, go check it out because I actually talk about how I developed a curve to, to fit in with your city so that you can easily make a curved road plate using these new road plates. Now the reason I like these is because they're 16 studs wide, so they're much, much smaller than the traditional 32 stud wide road plates, and they're way more flexible. You can do a lot more with them. And today what I'm actually gonna show you is how I made curbs so that it, it integrates better with the city and it all just kind of makes it flow better. Because as you know, like the traditional road plates are nice, um, but they're low to the ground and they work really well with the modulars, but again, they take up a whole lot of space and you end up with really massively wide sidewalks versus um, you know having a more more normal or traditional looking sidewalk in your city. And when you're dealing with a really limited space like I am, every stud counts. And so you really gotta maximize that and these road plates actually really help with that. So uh, without further ado, this is the solution that I've been using for curbs. So you can see here that I have uh, the new road plates and basically what I've done is I've actually extended them out one stud because if you could actually make your curves in line with the road plates and keep them 16 wide if you really, really want to, but uh, they start to get a really narrow for cars, and especially if you like running speed champion cars in your city or some of the larger trucks or buses or whatever, uh, it really starts to become a tight fit. Now, you can easily, I'll show you later too, you expand this outward if you want to as well. You could easily add uh, another, you know, another stud, three or four. You can just go as far out as you want to make this wider. Uh, again, that's one of the versatile things about these road plates. But let me show you the specifics of how I create the curbs, and then I'll show you how it fits into the city, and then we'll go from there. All right, so this is the key elements to build one uh, 16 by 16 road section curb. Uh, you can see it's fairly part intensive. Uh, it's not too bad, but uh, a lot of these parts are fairly common and easy to come by, so you probably have some in your bits box, or um, you can easily order these parts. They're not terribly expensive on BrickLink, and you can always substitute different ones if you don't have one by eight plates. You can use smaller ones and things, you know, one by fours, one by sixes, whatever you have really. But this kind of gives you the gist of how I go about creating the curbs, which you see over here. And this particular one's actually going to have a gutter call out as well as a, um, or like a drain gutter here, and then just a normal solid piece, so you, as you see over here in this part of the gutter. So basically what you're gonna do is um, you start by expanding out the road plate right here. So you take these, I use uh, one by eights. You're gonna expand that out. Then you wanna take this tile piece here. It's a two by four. These actually come with the new road pieces, and you're gonna put that into place to lock that in, and then you wanna build up the foundation of the road using these other dark bluish gray uh, plates. And you'll notice right here, I'm actually leaving, I'm not putting anything right here, except for these, these um, gratings, which are gonna simulate the gutter. Now I like to leave it so that it actually looks like the gutter is raised up. You can see there where there's actually like a hole for the water to go into. Um, if you want to, you can easily block it in and just use these you know, gutters or drains here if you want. Uh, it just depends on how you want to do it, but this is how I like to do it. And then basically you're going to take and build this up now using these pieces here. These are light bluish gray because this is going to be the actual curb. So I like the, the different color transition. Um, it just makes the roads pop and it makes it more defined and it actually matches. So I've actually swapped all of my modular sidewalks are all light bluish gray tiles. Um, modulars tend to be dark bluish gray with the tiling. Uh, so all my sidewalks are light bluish gray. So I've actually swapped almost all the modulars and so that it all just kind of blends. So you have dark bluish gray roads, light bluish gray curbs and sidewalks. And then you can see, so we're just building this up. So at this point, you can already see how the foundation of the curb is going. And then to finish it off, you're just going to finish off with some, uh, with some tiles like that. And we just built a, a curb. It's that simple. <laughs> so now let's go take a look at it in the city and give you an idea of how it all comes together. All right, so here you see in the city, you can see the curbs in the background here all along the street. You can see how, I, again, how I've swapped the sidewalks to be um, light bluish gray tiles. And you can see the curb 
effect with the road. It gives you a nice, um, uh, I feel like it's a nice effect where the, the road is lower than the, than the street height. The street, the curb is a little bit taller than just like the old traditional base plates and just putting tiles on top. So it's actually, um, it gives you a little more height, gives a little more depth. And as you know, I'm really a big fan of depth in the city with perception and things like that. And I just feel like these, these road uh, curbs are a nice element to add. You can kind of see more back here as we go along the street. And then if we get kind of the high angle, you can see how it all comes together. You'll see more drains and um, even the, the access road, like the roadways like to get into the tuning garage. Uh, that works well using um, some sloped elements and it all just kind of flows together. You can even do rounded curbs as well. And if again, we'll check out my last video to see how I did this rounded bit right here, but it all integrates seamlessly and it all just kind of comes together nice and elegantly. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you found this helpful and uh, I will be back soon with another video to show you guys, because you're probably already wondering what about the modulars? Because the modulars are flat on an old traditional base plate. So how did I get those to line up with these new curbs? Stay tuned to find out. Take care. Bye.